We are now called Art Space is now going over the, the building uh, to Holyhead Studios. Uh, the council has agreed to for us to take over the lease of the building. And we've got loads of new members and are starting up afresh with, uh, with this uh, beautiful building uh, that we've got. Hoping to get enough um, uh, funding to also finally do up the, uh, the basement, which will mean that we've got loads and loads more space and we can have a print room. That would be marvellous if we could do that. And uh, organise, as you can see, we've uh, teamed up with Matthew who's um, doing a, a kind of a permanent exhibition space here, relating in, in temporary exhibitions. Uh, our uh, community room is still open for all kinds of courses that we're doing. And as you can see, the place is quite lively and we hope it will we go from strength to strength from here. So from the 1st of April, it's official, it, this place is Holyhead Studios. Yes, our sculpture, it's called Twixt uh, Nurture and Nature and um, it was part of a artist and academics um, sort of collaboration and we teamed up with uh, Rebecca Noble who um, is at Warwick University and she's studying um, and doing a piece on um, madness in 18th century Mexico. So she sort of talked to us about her findings and we, after listening to some real life stories and um, what she'd found on it, we sort of worked together and created this piece of sculpture. Um, so it's sort of knowledge and intellect with the man standing on the books and the struggle, um, but also partnership that goes along with spirituality, nature, etc. that we all have. Um, within ourselves really so it's a bit of the about sort of the internal and external struggles that we all have okay. there's 16 double-sided paintings so I've been making double-sided paintings for the last year and there's 99 of these and I can turn them into 33 sculptures they're all paintings um, that are painted on medicine packet instructions and the little red pieces are all um, shapes of uh, medicine spoons. So it's predominantly um, about, about medicines. I'm Megan. This is, uh, I work in ceramics and porcelain and metal. Um, and I make things that you can wear and things for the home as well. And some more conceptual things. Yeah, well it's now Hollyhead Studios, but it will be soon. Um, and it's a fantastic space, we've got lots of lovely light and a really great um, group of people here, so it's brilliant, yeah. In progress? Oh. <laughs> Same thing. That's why the paint on it looks good because the canvas and everything is about painting. Yeah, it's a nice little shop, exhibition. Not nice. Also, uh, yes. also, it's a nice the opening the show for a promising space. Currently, this, well, it, uh, I'm in the process of making these things here, but I'm having a bit of a gap from those because they're they're a, a period of gestations going on. So I'm returning back to some draw, back to drawing, which is the stuff I'm doing up here, and these things here, uh, the, the, the kind of sort of representations of architecture and three-dimensional spaces and things. I've always been interested in architecture. It's one of the things I, I wanted to do as a child, to be an architect. I wasn't good at maths, I wasn't good at English, so I failed my GCSEs, I didn't become an architect. But I, I worked really hard at looking at architecture, I've always enjoyed the spaces and I've enjoyed architecture, and, and a, a sort of historical basis. I taught history of architecture for a short period at, at college, and only recently I started to sort of um, find a connection in the work to, with architectural th processes. Uh, there's some photographs I took over, up over there of uh, reflections of glass, which I didn't, which I took subconsciously. And then I started making these things, 
and this stuff here I've been looking at. Um, Why are they called soft surface? Very good, thank you, thank you. Um, because this series of work came after a series that was called Service Road, which had ruled lines, straight lines, and these have soft hand-drawn lines. This is a new project space that our local artists or artists from outside the region can uh, apply to use. Uh, when I say local artists, I mean anybody in the West Midlands. Um, but kind of, yeah. The galleries come from a conversation that's happened in a group called the New Coventry Group. Um, we did um, a number of kind of um, sessions and also asked for kind of um, feedback on what artists in the local area needed and they were saying just more space. Um, this particular show is an exhibition of uh, female abstract artists 